video welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new welcome to my channel um I'm coming to you with a little bit of a different video this hair look is my most requested look ever and so this video is how I style it like this so stay tuned and I'm gonna teach you all my tips and tricks all right so I always will uh, let my hair air dry for the most part and I'll part it wherever I want to part it for that look that day So today I'm doing a center part So I let it air dry centered and then I blow dried it so that the part is in the center so today I'm doing a curly um, kind of like Not even half up like a quarter up look that is like the highest requested hairdo look right now. So I will do this in three sections and I'm gonna try and like do it as quick as possible while giving you guys all the information that you need. So you start by pulling your hair into two in the front, the first layer. I am using a straightener to curl my hair and I'm gonna teach you how I kind of I'm gonna try and teach you how to curl your hair with a straightener and like my tips and tricks. It takes practice, it takes time. You're not gonna get it right the first time and that is okay. It takes practice, it takes time. I could not do it right at first either. So you go grab a piece of hair. I usually go about this thick. It's like, it kind of like wraps around my thumb. That's how thick it is a little bit. So. You take your straightener. I personally have this old Rusk straightener, CTC straightener. It is literally so old. I think it was actually my first straightener ever. Might have been. Um, I have it on 401 is the heat. So I take it, I wrap it away from my face and then down. And you want your straightener to be straight up and down for this type of curl. Now, I'm going to show you on a bottom layer here what happens when you take it and you do the same, you wrap it and you hold it like this to curl it. Y'all are going to see a difference in the curl. See how it didn't curl like this one? Like they're, they're just different. If you want this beautiful curl instead of this where it's like kind of curly here but not really, hold it straight up and down. Straight up and down. And make sure that there's like a space between the hair. So now because I curled that one before, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna show you on this one again. Taking it, I'm right-handed. So I'm gonna go with my left hand up and over so that it is away from my face. Straight up and down, you see how there is a gap here between this hair and this hair? That's what you want. And you have just that beautiful, beautiful curl. That is something that took me forever to learn. And you just like, you go fast enough that you're constantly moving, but slow enough that it allows that hair to really get that beautiful curl that you want it to. You don't want to go too slow, but you don't want to go too fast. It's all about like your hair too. Like my hair, believe it or not, doesn't hold curl very well. And so I really have to like take my time with it. Some people can just like whiz through it and it looks amazing. I wish my hair was like that. All right, that's one side. Now let's do the right side. So. You do the exact same thing, grabbing the hair. So this time, right-handed, we're gonna go underneath. This is the right-hand side. You're gonna go away from your face, which is underneath the straightener. And pull. Again, straight up and down. And she's a beautiful curl. That piece was a little bit thicker, so I guess you get to see like what the difference is between thicker pieces. On the bottom, it's not 
as big of a deal because it's holding hair, but if I go with a thinner piece, I'm going to show you. Straight up and down, leaving a little bit of space. See how, uh, how much different it is? Like, this one, it really doesn't start really curling until the end. This one, it curls like, it starts curling right about here. And it just, uh, that's just how I curl my hair. So, grab a thick piece. You could do like thick, thin, thick, thin, and get like different types of curls. You can also like, ow, that's hot. Turn your straightener a little bit and get a little bit more of a curl. It's all about practicing. Wear a glove if you need to. I personally just, I don't usually turn it that much. So see how, like I curled it a little bit more, like I went a little bit more and you have a, a more pronounced curl at the end. I also have these like little baby hairs around my sideburns, so I just get those in there. There. Next layer. You do the exact same thing as you did the bottom layer. So I'm gonna skip to the top layer now, just to help save some time. All right, so I just did my second layer. I'm going on to my third. This is about as much hair as I leave for the, the last section. You go and you part it. Again, parting in the center, pulling it forward. So I always start in the back. So because my hair is long, I'm able to like really get in the back, but I know a lot of people struggle with curls in the back. So what I do is I grab it and I still go around, like away from the face on this side, which is going up and over the straightener. And just doing the same thing as I did with the front. Just a little bit more awkward of a position, I guess. So again, we're gonna show you that again. Lifting your arm up and over. Or what you can do if that is complicated, like I just did, you can go along here and then lift it up and go around. And that's with like any strand of hair. Me personally, I like to go thinner and then thick along here. So it's thick going up and down, but it's thin going the width way. Just because I like the look of that curl better. It does look different. Every strand of hair matters. So the way that you, or how thick and where you want the thickness matters in the curl. So like I said, practice. Do different curls, do different widths, do different lengths. So these ones I like to be a little bit thinner just because they are going to be my money pieces. So I want them to just be absolutely... So see how like this curl is a lot different than this curl. Where are you? Right here. So this one's a little bit thicker. It's not as like pronounced as this curl. So if you want those beautiful curls like this, you want thin strands of hair. Oh, so stunning. So beautiful. All right, let's go on to the non-dominant side or the right-hand side is not. Like curling on this side is harder because the curling iron is here and I can only move my hand so far. 
So I always say that this is my weaker side when it comes to curling my hair. All right. One thing you can always do is like brush it out. Sometimes there's like little knots in it if it makes it easier for you. Sometimes it does for me, sometimes it doesn't. So grabbing it. What you're doing is you're pulling your arm as far back as it goes. Again, starting here, pulling up, and it's gonna go down again. Because we're on the right hand side, we go down to go away from the face. If you're right handed. If you're left, I think it's the opposite. So again, we got a thicker piece, but it is thin when it comes to the width of it. Straight up and down. Just taking your time, letting that heat get to the hair. And if your hair turns out like this, like this is not the curl I want. I don't like her. Go over it again. Because it's already warm, it's going to give you even more definition this time. You guys will see. So see how it like added a little bit more definition in here? I'm going to go underneath here. And these pieces will be going back into the ponytail, so they're not like super duper crucial, but... So again, just like I did on this side, I'm going to break this section into two and get those beautifully defined curls. go and like find the little hairs that maybe aren't as curly as you'd like them to be like this little one is not as curly as I want it to be so you just go and you do like a quick little boop and it curls it for the most part looks pretty curled to me oh there's one straight strand here So now that you have your hair curled, and this even looks just amazing, I just take my fingers and just like go through it a little bit and really like blend the curls together. All right, so you could leave it like this. You look fabulous. Uh -huh. Or you grab a ponytail. I personally love these really thick uh, ponytails, I personally use a dark one because my hair at the root is dark. I grab a comb like so with a little pick on it. I take my nails and wherever I want my bangs to start, I start behind there and I just make like a circle. So this is about what we're going to have our ponytail be, but we want to back comb it first. So. Right here is about where I want my bangs to go forward. So I take and break that up. You can add hairspray here, it's totally up to you. I personally don't. And just a nice light back comb. Because you're putting it into a ponytail, it's gonna hold that back comb. So I personally feel like I don't need the hairspray to hold the back combing in you can do whatever you feel like doing. And I go fairly high up because I want the ponytail to be fairly thick as well. So, and then I just like brush it out, make, make it kind of look kind of like that. 
taking the ponytail, doing exactly what I showed you at the start. There might be some back combed pieces in there, you just pull it apart. Because you didn't use hairspray, it's not that hard and it really doesn't hurt. So then I just like cradle that what I'm having as my ponytail in my hand and just brushing this top piece out, just making it so that there's no lumps, bumps, things like that. You can see how there's this little bump here? You just brush it out. And then when you have majority of it brushed out, you go and you put that ponytail in like so, tighten it, and you want to like pull it up so that it really like sticks up. And then what I do is I take the pick of this and I just pull some of that hair out to give that bump a little bit of volume. And if you feel like you've given it too much volume, say like right here, you can just like pull at the hairs and find out where that bump is taking place. You can pin it with a bobby pin. You can do all the things. You can grab some hairs and blend it in. It's totally up to you. You play around. It's your hair. But something similar to that. And then if you want the ponytail to be a little bit more voluminous, what you do is you just back comb it. Nice, light back comb. Make sure that you don't go too crazy because it will take the curl away. But overall, we just want just a little bit of volume in that ponytail. If there's ever a strand that you're like, ah, oh, that's pretty dull, you just back comb that one strand. This strand is dull, let's back comb that one strand. And then just play with it. When you have it where you want it, like this, you leave it. And then, because I like volume down here as well, what I do is I back comb it as well. I do this with the bang, just to get it to back comb just a little bit, or to be a little bit more volumin vol voluminous. So see how this side just like sticks out a little bit more? Then this side, this side's a little bit flat. Let's give her a little puff up. A little bit of that back, back home steroid we got going on. <laughs> and then the front, just a little bit, not much. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Now you take your hairspray, I use Big Sexy Hair, and it just gets all the flyaways. And there you have it. This is the hair style everyone wanted to hear about. Or I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was easy enough that you guys and like explained enough. I feel like I don't explain things very well. But um, if you have any specific questions, I'm happy to answer them. But for the most part, it's just practice and like find out what works for you because what works for me may not work for you. So it's just about playing, practicing, doing all the things. Um, but yeah. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when the next look comes available. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I absolutely love you. Bye.